Today we will be looking at two workbooks for around age three. Um, the first one is the Scholastic Toddler work Workbook, which is recommended ages two to three. And then the other one is the Pre-K Workbook, which is for preschoolers. I purchased both of these books at my local Walmart. Um, this one was the recommended price is $10 and this one is $13. I think I ended up paying about $7 a piece for them, which I thought was pretty good. One thing that I really like is that they're both very thick books. They have lots and lots of pages and so there's lots of activities to do. But neither book copies. So um, there's activities that are similar in both books, but I can use both of them together. And my toddler has um, some different things that she can do every day. The first book we'll look at is the toddler book. Again, this is for ages two to three. I have the first page here that uh, my daughter colored on today um, where they tell you to draw things. So in this one, it starts a little bit more basic than in the pre-K book. In this one, the first, um, section is just drawing. So if we look at the table of contents here, um, I can tell you about it. There's lots and lots of different things that you can do, but the first one is fine motor skills, which is basically drawing. And then they go into tracing, which gets into shapes and things like that. Um, next, we'll, they move into the alphabet. Then there's numbers and colors. There's shapes cutting and pasting, basic concepts like opposites. Um, and then they repeat again, um, having it be a little bit more intense. So there's matching at the end, but then they go back to fine motor skills. But these are more um, advanced than the original fine motor skills. They go into more tracing, more alphabet, more numbers, colors, cutting and pasting shapes. Um, so they go through, they start off, like I said, they start very basic, so drawing, putting spots on the dinosaur, then they get into tracing, so this is an example of the early tracing pages. Here's more tracing as it goes, it gets harder as it progresses, so tracing circles and shapes and things like that. <clears throat> Then after tracing, they go into the alphabet. So just learning the, the big letters there. After the alphabet, you move into numbers. And then colors. After colors, you get to shapes. Then cutting and pasting. I think that this is a cool thing that they um, put in this book because this seems like something that would be challenging for a two or a three year old. So I'm excited to see how my toddler does with these. Very fun pictures, which I think will keep a child of this age group very engaged. Then this is the concepts of long and short, tall and short, big and little, or outside and inside, happy and sad. So some different concepts there. And then this is matching. So that's the first half. Then here's the more fine motor skills again, where they have them draw, but they give them something a little bit more direction focused to draw. And then here's the, sh the tracing, a little bit more advanced with the tracing. Here's the repeat alphabet. And then numbers. Colors. And shapes. Here's more cutting and pasting. I have to cut multiple things out and 
and paste them in there. This is more advanced concepts. And then matching and numbers. So that is the toddler jumbo workbook. Next we're going to be looking at the pre-K jumbo workbook. So this is for preschoolers. Here's the first page that we worked on today. So it's this one starts with tracing. So it starts with simple lines and then moves on to squares. Um, as we look at the table of contents in this book, we go through tracing and then mazes, first concepts, ABCs, first little letter sounds, rhymes, handwriting, counting, sorting, very first science, my world, and all about preschool. So here's some examples of the tracing that's at the beginning. So it um, gets more advanced as you work your way through, but fun, colorful pictures with lines for them to trace. And then here's some of our first mazes. First concepts. So here they include colors. <clears throat> they also include shapes in here. Then they get into ABCs. Here's our alphabet pages. Then here's our first reading, or the first letter sounds, I should say, is what they call it. Then here's rhyming. <clears throat> Here's handwriting, so practicing writing out the different letters. Here's counting, so numbers and counting. Here's sorting. So looking at things that are the same versus different. Here's very first science. Here is my world. And then this one is all about preschool. And then at the end, there's different stickers. Some of the pages need stickers to complete activities, and it tells you right on there which pages you will use those different stickers for. So I think that that's neat that they include um, different stickers and things in their activities to keep kids engaged. So there was a look at the two different books from Scholastic that are aimed for that um, around two to three, maybe four-year-old range, the toddler jumbo workbook and the pre-k jumbo workbook they do have a little bit of overlap they both kind of do some of the same things with the pre-k being a little bit more advanced than the toddler um, but i think that they're great little books for kids i love how colorful they are and how engaging they are and the pictures are really um exciting and encouraging for young kids so um, I would definitely recommend them if you're doing homeschooling or if you just want to keep your kid engaged over the summer um, which is what we're using them for just for some activities to do to keep them um, just kind of involved over the summer 